What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we're going to add a flat roof and we're going to add a sloped roof and then we're going to create an extruded roof to our building model. And then after that, we're going to modify the properties of a roof. Okay, so if I'm going to change my view to 3D view, so this is how it looks like. So this is what we're going to do. So we're going to create a flat roof here, this area. And then we're going to create a slope roof in this area. And then we're going to use extrude roof in this area here. Okay, so let's get this thing started. So we're going to create first our uh, flat roof. Okay, so let's do this. So to do that from the, from the architecture tab, you see the build panel. So we're going to select here the roof. Okay, so here we have several options here. So we are going to use roof by footprint. Okay, so let's click this one. And then since we're going to create a flat roof, I'm going to make sure that the defined slope here is clear. Okay, and then for the overhang, instead of 300, I'll just make that zero. Okay, and then extend to wall core. So I'm going to check that one. I want to extend to wall core the roof. And then using the peak walls, I'm going to pick the exterior walls here so i'm gonna hover my pointer to one of the wall here like that okay and then just need to press the tab once do not hold the tab just press it once and then you will see it highlights the chain of walls so once you see it highlights just click that to place your roof uh roof outline okay so after that you can change the properties here if you want you can check this one so let's say for example i'm looking for uh steel truss this one so i'll be using this steel truss insulation on metal deck epdm so i'm gonna select this type and then that's it just select here check to finish it okay and then you will now see this uh dialog box so for this one you just need to select yes would you like to join geometry and cut the overlapping volume out of the wall yes and that's it so if you're going to check that one in the 3d view so there you go so we now have here our flat roof now the next part of the exercise i'm going to show you how to create a sloped roof by footprint again okay so let me open the level here which is a lower roof let me double click that Okay, so this is where I'm going to place now my uh, footprint, the roof by footprint. So go to architecture, look for the roof. Let's use roof by footprint. So let's click this one. Okay, and then after that, we're going to put an overhang here. So as a while ago, we'll put a zero. So this time, I'm going to put an overhang here of uh, 600. And then this time, I'm going to check now the defined slope. Okay. Now, for the extent to wall core, I'll just leave it uh, unchecked. Okay. And then again, we will be using pick walls. Okay. So using the pick walls, so let us now pick sides of our uh, wall. Okay. So let's pick that here, here. Okay, there you go. There you go. And for creating the sketch of your roof, your ceiling, or floor, it should be close, no intersection, no overlapping. So make sure the sketch is close, no intersection, no overlapping. So that's why I'm going to use here trim extend to corner. So I'm going to connect this. And then I'm going to clear this corner, clean up the corners like that from here to here okay and then after that we are going to create now or let's select check uh, select first the type of the roof so i'll be using here a wood so wood rafter so i'm gonna use this type and finish it that's it so i'm gonna select this and then would you like to attach the highlighted walls to the roof? I'm going to attach that. So I'm going to check this one. Do not show me this message again. I want that to be attached always. So attach. 
and there you go okay so let's check this one out in 3d view again and there you go okay so if you want you can also modify the properties of the roof so let's say you do not want this type of uh, roof so let us modify this one so to modify your roof just click the roof you can do that in the 3d view or you can just go back again to the floor plan so let's try to do this on our 3d view so i'm going to select the roof and then there's an option here edit footprint so let's click this one okay and then after that i'm going to select this sketch line here okay so instead of having a slope i'm gonna uncheck this one so that there's no slope and then i'm gonna select your check and there you go you just modify your roof okay so right after we create our slope roof now the next thing that we will be doing is we're going to create here an extruded roof okay so let's try that one out so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to open the link roof level so let me open that one that link roof uh floor plan and as you can see it's only this area here so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to place here a reference plane as my guide so i'm gonna pick my first point here and then my second point here and you will also notice that we have here a section so this section is section 2. So we will be using also this section 2 when we sketch our roof. Okay, so let's do this. So from the architecture, I'm going to select the roof, uh, roof by extrusion. So let's click this one. And then we are going to use pick a plane because we are going to select the work plane or the reference plane that we have created. So let's click that. And then we are going to open the section 2. Okay. So let's open up the section 2 and there you go so let's just select here okay right and then for this one i'll just use here start end radius arc for the shape of my roof so there the first point second point and then there's the arc and then i'll just select modify so this will gonna be the shape of our roof okay now for the type here i'll just use epdm again this time the thin one and then you can specify here now the extrusion of your uh, roof. Okay, so let's say I'll just type 900 for that. Later on, we can still change that. And then after that, just select here, finish edit mode. And there you go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the 3D view. We're not yet done. Okay, and then you see this end here. So let me go to the modify and then let's use uh, join geometry. So let's try this one out. So I want to join it here, this side. Okay, so it doesn't work. So I'm going to use here a line, uh, this side here, and then this side here. That's the one. So it's now a line. Okay, and then I'll just select modify. Now for this one, I'll just select this one, and then I'll just drag this all the way like that. Okay, and then after that, just use here join geometry. So let's click that. So let's click this and then let's click this to join the geometry there you go okay and that's it so we just created three types of our uh, three types of roof so we created our flat roof we created our slope roof and then we also created our extruded roof okay so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching have a nice day